the first thing you do is open up Lyric, which is this beautiful icon right here. Every time you open up Lyric for the first time, the CG will turn green or go to bars. You'll see that you have no signal here. You're going to want to change your frame buffers. Make sure they're updated. So you come up to config, go to hardware. We only have one frame buffer, so you operate off of this one right here. Click the drop down, hit frame buffer three, and apply. Go back to the same drop down, hit frame buffer one, apply, and OK. Your signal is restored, so you're ready to go. The next thing you want to do is load up whatever profile you are working in. So you go back up to config, come down here to load user profile, come out here on the computer to your media iDrive, find the folder with the class or show you're working in, double click it, and find your .reg file. That is your profile file. Double click it, it will open up. You know if you're in the right profile if up in your, at the top of your window, you can read your show or class name. Uh, then you're going to want to load up all of your default paths so you are taking your images from the correct place. So you're going to go back to config, go to preferences, the third tab from the left, default paths, then create select project hierarchy, find all of your folders, make sure you are in the right class or show folder, you see everything that you're going to want to pull from, hit OK. They'll all load up in this screen. Hit OK again, and then you will be good to go, and your graphics are in. Uh, in order to start importing graphics, you can either go File New or Control N to get yourself a new canvas. And you have to go back out to the iDrive to grab your graphics. Lyric only reads two kinds of files. It reads PNGs and JPEGs. .jpg JPEGs, not .jpe JPEGs. This will not read .jpeg. And that has happened a lot, where people try and get graphics in here and it doesn't work. So troubleshooting. Um, also, Lyric is going to want to read all your graphics off of the iDrive. So when you make something in Photoshop, Lay it all out. When you go save it, save it as a JPEG or a PNG, depending on what you need. You need to put everything on a USB drive, and then we upload it right here. Boop. Chiron comes fully equipped with that. Heck yeah. All right. So navigate to your USB that you just plugged in. Find all your graphics. Oh, that's Internet Explorer. Look what I did. Colleen, stop. <laughs> it's fine. Mm -hmm. Anyway, open up your computer, navigate to your USB that you just plugged in, to the folder you saved all of your graphics in. You're going to want to open another window, open up the iDrive, and then save everything in whatever show or class folder you want. This just keeps everything organized. Nobody's graphics run over each other, and nobody will be confused in the, in the long run. Do not save stuff on the desktop. There you go. Uh, so we're loading stuff into Sports Buzz 2016. When you open up your show folder, you'll see all of these folders in it. Once you're in here, you click Images. This is where you're loading everything into. So you're going to want to, all you got to do is drag and drop. And this folder is actually hard. So now all of your images are in the iDrive in your show folder. Now you can go back into Lyric, and you're going to want to start a new canvas, a new blank canvas. So you either go to File, New, or Control N to get yourself a blank canvas. And you're ready to start importing graphics. To import a graphic into Lyric, you want to go up to your top row of icons up here. You're looking at this one right here with a little yellow circle. It says Import Graphic. You click on that, and that will send you out to the la it'll send you out to the last folder you're in, but you can navigate your entire computer. So go to the iDrive. I am in SportsBuzz 2016. I want to go to my images, and I uploaded everything for show 31. 
So let's say I want to bring in a scoreboard. Let's bring in the shiny scoreboard. So once you're in this folder, you see all your graphics, all you have to do is double click it. Uh, once it's on your canvas, you have all these icons up here. These are your options to edit. You have your move tool, uh, rotate, and scale. And you'll be able to adjust them on your canvas. This one does not need to be adjusted because it is designed in a 1920 by 1080 canvas. If you can manage it, always design your graphics in a 1920 by 1080 canvas. It'll make your life 100 times easier when you're going to import things in Lyric. So once you have everything set, if you just need to place a graphic on here, the next thing you want to do is record a new message number. So I'm going to want to save this at, this is for show 31. So let's say I want to save this, though, at 31.25, because this is going to be the 25th graphic in show 31. So you type in your message number on this keypad down here, just this keypad. This keypad will only bring up message numbers, and you'll see them come up in here. These numbers are for actual typing. So you type in the number you want to save this at. And in order to record it to that number, you hit this button right here, record. Anytime you are initially saving a graphic, you have to hit record. You can't hit control S or file save. It has to be record. So you hit record. If you're successful, if the number is open, you get a green bar at the bottom of your screen here knowing that you have been recorded. Yes, it says the number there, recorded 3125 in SportsBuzz 2016. So you're good to go. So I can now call this up at any point I want. Ah, well, if there was a, uh, if there was already a message saved at a number, so if I attempted to save this at number 3100, which I know there is a message saved there, and hit record again, you will get this pop-up to confirm the overwrite. So you will never accidentally overwrite a graphic. It will happen. Anyway, so once your graphic is up and ready to go, you can call it up, and in order to get it from Lyric, out to duet into the CG is control. You can hit any control. There are three controls on the keyboard. You can hit any control. It really doesn't matter. Control, this button right here. Two from the top, it says play. You'll see it come up here in your monitor here. And you'll see it come up in, you'll see it come up in CG in the multi view on your left. And then it is up to whoever is at the board to take it over into program. So we just saved that scoreboard at 3125 for show 31. We already have all these other graphics loaded in for show 31. So this is the first graphic. If I need to call up the graphic I just saved, I come back to this keyboard down here, type in 3125, hit this button right here that says read, and I'll see the graphic I just saved. In order to get this graphic from Lyric out to CG, it's control, any control on the keyboard, play. You'll see it in this monitor. You'll see it in the CG uh, up on your, le in the multi-view on the left screen, and then it's up to the person on the board to bring it into program. While this is up in CG, everything you send over to your CG monitor is available up in the CG for your technical director to take. While this is up, you can continue working in Lyric. So while a show is going on, if I need to bring up any, any other message and potentially edit it, I can. And it will not affect what's going out to CG.